finally got my new parts. Let's get started. What's up guys, if you follow me on Twitter and if you watch my last video, you know that uh, I've been in the process of picking parts and finally placing an order for a PC upgrade. And that's actually gonna be on my main PC, which I've had for a couple years. And all my parts finally came in. I'm super excited and I wanna show you what I got. Uh, I actually did order both from Newegg and from Amazon. There's another box here. Uh, so without further ado, let me show you what's inside. First box we're gonna look at is the one from Newegg. Uh, there's only one uh, uh, part in here. And underneath all this is my motherboard. So I picked up a Gigabyte Z87X UD4H. Uh, this supports the latest uh, chipset from Intel. Uh, this will support the Haswell uh, CPUs. And I will show you in just a second what it is I'm gonna be putting in here. But I'm super excited about this particular board. Uh, really good reviews. Uh, it looks really, really good. And uh, it's actually pretty hefty, which is um, kind of nice. So let's take a look at the box from Amazon. Here's the Amazon box and let's get rid of the packaging stuff there. And uh, right off the bat, let me show you this. This is the CPU that I picked, the Core i7-4770K. Uh, this is the uh, Haswell edition, or I guess it's the Haswell uh, line, the i7 edition is probably the better way to put it. Uh, it's the unlock processor, that's what the K means, and uh, I will definitely be uh, overclocking this guy. So very, very cool. Uh, I also picked up a pair of these Corsair uh, fans. These are the uh, SP120 High Performance Edition. Uh, and I picked these up for uh, this guy here. And I'll show you that in just a second so I can get it out of the box. Um, also picked up one of these Rosewell Super Speed Memory Card Readers. Uh, it's USB 3.0. Uh, I currently have a USB 2.01 in my computer uh, card reader. Uh, but uh, I do a lot of video transfer, obviously, for the channel, and I wanted to step up the speed to uh, USB 3.0 to get that faster throughput uh, so that I can copy files a lot faster. So that's very cool. Picked up a really nice SSD. This is the Samsung uh, 840 Pro. It's 256 gigabytes. Uh, I currently have a 120 gig Corsair drive uh, in my uh, PC as the boot drive. But uh, this is going to be replacing that, and this will be my main system drive. Uh, let's see. We can talk about this video card. This is the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 Superclocked Edition. So uh, I was, or still am, a little fan of uh, AMD cards. But in this particular case, the uh, GeForce cards happen to be, I think, a little bit better value overall. And uh, I decided to pick this guy up. Uh, not the top of the line card, but definitely not the bottom end uh, of the range. This is actually a really, really fast card, very, very slick. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with, with this pick here. And last but not least is this guy. So this is the Corsair H100i. This is the uh, water cooler that I'm going to be using to keep my CPU cool after I overclock it. Uh, this is a uh, really popular cooler, self-contained water loop. Uh, it's got some nice features like the uh, Corsair Link and some other uh, really nice things about it. Um, the SP120 fans that I picked up are going to be replacing the stock fans that come in the box. Uh, because I've heard a lot of bad things about those fans, um, so I wanted to replace those. But this is going to be the cooling solution for the computer. All right, so let's talk a second about what the uh, purpose of the upgrade is. So I've had my PC for a couple years now, and I've been doing a lot more video editing, obviously, for the channel. And uh, that's kind of the type of build that I want here. Uh, I want to build a computer that's going to be really solid in doing video editing, because um, I do a lot of it. And I also want to be able to do uh, some light gaming, not a lot. Um, but the focus really is going to be on performance and some of these um, heavier threaded applications. And that's why I picked the uh, Core i7 as opposed to the i5. Now, uh, the uh, GTX 760 is going to help out in that regard because the software that I use 
uh, we'll be able to use the CUDA cores that are available on the card to uh, help speed up some of the rendering and some of the processing for editing. Um, obviously, I'm overclocking, so I'm going to be needing a really good uh, cooling uh, system here, so that's why I've got this. And there's some things that are missing. So um, when I built my PC a couple years ago, there were things that I tried to buy to future-proof myself. Uh, so the things that I'm going to be carrying over from my old PC are going to be the uh, power supply, uh, as well as the memory, and uh, maybe a couple fans. Uh, I have a Blu-ray burner, which obviously will come over, uh, and then the case, which uh, is a really nice case, which I like. So I'm going to be picking that up or continuing to use that as well. So I'm really excited. What I'm going to end up doing for the rest of the series here is I probably will uh, mirror what I did before. So uh, I'll break it up into different parts. And as I uh, get to each part, I will uh, either unbox and uh, just do a quick overview of the parts that I'm installing in that part of the video. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, I wanted to get this video out for you guys so that you can see what's coming up for the channel. Uh, and I think once this is done, it's going to be a really, really awesome machine. So stick with me. Subscribe and like if you haven't done so already. And uh, if you're new to the channel, this is the kind of stuff that I like to put out. And, uh, you know, come back for more. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See all the links below for uh, where I'm at in those regards, places, <laughs> places. Um, follow me there. You'll find out where and what's been going on with the channel. So anyways, guys, I'm rambling. I'm done. I want to get this edited. Um, on the old computer at this point uh, and put out for you guys. So thanks for watching. See you next time.